We are, in fact, stocking the brand new backyard pond for the first time today. Oh, calm down, boy. What are you listening to? Let me see them teeth. Come here, baby goats. Hey, no, there you go. Oh, yeah. Hey. No, that one's dead. No. No. He's down. He's down. No. Oh, there's a mouse. There's a mouse. Whoa, man, his tail and chuck him. I don't want to touch him. Oh, the duck's here. Oh, there's a... They're duck here. Oh, look at them all. Alrighty, folks, the fish are here. We've got four boxes. One, two, three, four. Perishable fruit. Yeah, bud. Get it. Shoo! What's going on, folks? That's right. We are, in fact, stocking the brand new backyard pond for the first time today. The fish are getting mailed to us. We're not going to have a big stocking truck. We've got a bunch of packages. I don't know how many, but there's a bunch getting directly shipped to my doorstep. So they're supposed to be here in like an hour or two. So I'm going to head out. But one thing we also got shipped to us is a bunch of Guggen products. That's right. We got Guggen Squad money bags. Okay, that's right. We are doing a beefcake jerky Guggen collaboration. Once again, it was like the most highly requested bundle that we did last year. It's been a while since, you know, fishing season. So now we're bringing it back. This Sunday, we're having a full restock of beefcake jerky. As you can see, we got a bunch of stuff back there on the racks. We got brand new fresh jerky for you guys. All six flavors are gonna be back in stock this Sunday at 7 p.m. At 6 p.m. if you're early on the app. But we also got a bunch of Guggen stuff. So this time, the old bandito bug, the Cheeto bandito when you're using it, it's like cheating, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna be in summer craw. This entire thing is bandito bugs. We got money bags over there. We also got a Guggen hat. This guy right here, bam. So all of these we got to start putting together for the drop coming up this Sunday but this is what you get folks you get sweet heat hot and spicy original teriyaki peppered and honey barbecue all six flavors of course you get the koozie the sticker and the money bag with the pack of baits and the hats plus we've got other bundles that are gonna be available how you feel about it? You excited good I stole one hat so we got a minus that from inventory and I stole a few of those bandito ones, so. all right so there's gonna be less than anticipated but once they're gone they're gone everything you see there is all that there's going to be so once the Guggen bundle is gone it is gone for good but like I said if you guys want to get some jerky, get some baits, get geared up. We're getting excited for fishing season. Not just for the backyard pond, but for some actual dangle going, some cat fishing, some bass fishing. We're super stoked. The weather is finally starting to get warm outside. Anyways, the plan today is to get fish for the backyard pond, but bam, all this jerky is going to be in stock this Sunday. Plus, we got a Guggen bundle, plus some other bundles that you guys like. If you guys want to try it out, you got to be there before it's gone. BeefKJury.com or one hour early on the app. We will see you guys at the house with the fish. All right, we made it back home, but we didn't give you guys a backyard update because today is a big day. Bam, we've got sod. That was the final missing piece for the backyard. This is like the world's longest backyard project of all time was just making the backyard into a backyard. But bam, that's what she looks like. Look, they've got the sod freshly going down. The pool is still there. Okay, the fire pit's there. Yeah, we can set the huh? archery targets back up, right? Oh, true. I you know we were talking earlier. We may do like a little clay thrower down here that shoots out of the pasture. That way you keep Ralph on his toes, you know? I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Anyways, want to give you guys a quick update on the house because we're literally done now. Like this was the final thing that needed to be done at the house. Okay, the pool is like 99.9% .9 done. The only thing we don't have working are the fire water bowls, which I am personally rather excited because I don't I don't know what a fire water bowl is, but I've been told they're pretty cool. Huh? Who got the mountain shoe out? Who's got the Baja going? So, bam, look at that. In case you're wondering, 20,000 square feet is the backyard. That's how much sod I had to buy. Not enjoyable to make that purchase, but hey, you got to do what you got to do. I didn't realize it was that big. It just it's kind of deceiving how how big the backyard is. But it's, yeah, I want to make, make sure we've got a good enough archery range back here. So we did want to give you guys a quick update since we just pulled in, I saw the sod truck and I said, hey, they're putting sod down. We got sprinklers in, sods in, and we're pretty much done. Like there's really, I don't know if you guys have seen this. I don't know if I like it or not. You guys have to let me know. Should we, like, what is this doing shade wise other than giving you a bad, you know, tan line? I feel like if you laid out in a, in a sun chair, you'd yeah, wake up all like checkered a, and whatnot. Like a good steak. I mean, or do we throw, can you, can you buy a, a solid root? Is it pitched? Is it pitched at all? Is it flat? You think? Hmm. Yeah, I feel like. What would its need be to drain water? It just lets it through. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, could we could we throw some tin on it or something? I mean, waxing would look cool. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, this doesn't do much from th that sun. Yeah, you're still getting burnt. So what's the? I don't so know. Bright. Comment down below. What's the point of a pergola? I was told you need a pergola. I was like, yeah, I agree. Pergolas are cool. And then I don't know what this does for me. Honestly, I have no. Is there is there power ran or no? You tell me, boss. Nah, nah, they didn't run power. Oh, okay. So I gotta run an extension cord across my pool. That's probably not safe. Don't I'm that. guessing you're not don't supposed do to that. do that. So perfect. Now I'm glad they did. Anyways, I don't know. Comment down below if you pergola guys or are you like, uh, what would be like the solid version of it? Like, I'm thinking, see how that thing looks? Okay, with the 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 the, the things, the cedar posts, and then the, the cedar underneath it. Like, I want that smaller, and then right here, and then it would kind of match the house. I feel like that would be cooler than this metal this you know what this would be good structure 
Oh, this would be great. Spot. Think about it. Think about it. Yeah. Okay, think about it. Yeah, I like that. You know, you know how pissed me ACB if I was like, she's like, where's the pergola? And I was like, it's in the pond. I hear a sauce. I was cutting it down. And Dude, half. you tell me you wouldn't want to flip that sucker? You cut it down where it's like half a Yes. Tall. The fish can just go under and you flip your jig in it. Oh. We could like zip tie a bunch of those little like pipes to it and stuff and make like a big. This? Float there's a chance this turns into strike. It is a brand spanking new, never before used. I have no idea what it costs. Probably too much. But serious, on a serious note, the structure would actually be pretty pretty impressive on this thing because I mean like the fish would be able to kind of come and go and to your point you could just put like little PVC pipes in between it and just make this giant I mean this is like a I think it's like a 14 by 12 square I mean come on now okay I don't know the wife might not be about it but I'm thinking should we structure the pergola or what's the point of a pergola because I'm still gonna get sunburned I'm still gonna get rained on is it just the aesthetic because I think aesthetically it look better in the pond I'm just saying I'm just saying so anyways pools here doing pool things I don't know what if you guys have seen the spa they call a spa it's just a hot tub it's not, I mean, clearly it's not. It more looks like a pond. So this is a fire water bowl, okay? So that one's done, okay? It's got the little lava rocks on it. I'm not sure why this isn't. But this thing shoots fire. Not, it just, there's fire. And then here, I think this is, oh, maybe that, no? It's definitely not supposed to. I'm not qualified this to be broken. touching this, but they, maybe it's broke. Oh yeah, that's supposed to look like that. Water comes out from here and goes into the fire water bowl. Okay, I'm not really exactly sure with the. Anyways, it should be kind of cool. I'm thinking at night maybe it would look kind of cool to where water's flowing from the hot tub. Oh wait, that's the other thing. The two lower things that actually overspills from the hot tub. So you've got four things spilling into the pool, keeping the pool nice and warm. Okay, speaking of the pool, this is the auto cover. And now this is the only reason we got it for a couple reasons. One, because you see how dirty it is. Well, that's how dirty my pool would be if I didn't have it you always want to cover but you can actually walk on this sucker can i do that i mean I'm not good for it or no you know how much snow was on this a probably a billion pounds try it oh god yeah <laughs> is that weird? It feels weird. It feels like a waterbed. Dude, there's, oh, there's water. It's there's full. Water. Oh, I didn't realize it was full. Hang on. So it's a safety cover. That way, kiddos and, and rugrats running around, you know, they don't. But you come over here. Okay. It's, oh, yeah. There's. I forgot. We have one on the hot tub, too. Do you really? Yeah. Let me see which one this is. Uncover. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's nice and clean. I didn't realize this thing was full of water yet. Maybe we gotta put something over this. So, this looks a little. What does? Like we can cover these pipes up or something. You don't like the sure. conduit just protruding from the. But look, at, isn't that cool? Then when you only use half your pool, you can just no. You probably don't want to leave that. But yeah, she needs a scrubbing. I would say it's a little green. The pool guy said that they need to stretch the liner supposedly. So I think they're waiting for the water to heat up. It's heated, so maybe they should just turn on the propane. But either way, once it's heated, then we're gonna clean it. But I don't know if I've even really shown you. Oh, I, the hand railings you definitely haven't seen. I feel like these are kind of a hazard, not gonna lie. You feel like you run into You're gonna that. definitely smack your head on that, right? Yeah. Okay, we might fix these, but those little nipple things coming out, that's a fountain. So those are supposed to shoot out, which really? is kinda cool, yeah. But yeah, see like how there's wrinkles right here? I feel like that's not normal. No. So hopefully the pool guys fix that. But I wanna show you, and then we've got an auto cover that will actually cover, let's see, if, well, let me see if it works, I guess. It's supposed to cover the hot tub. Hit cover covers the hot tub. So that way, when you're basically not using, okay, any, oh yeah, you can run them both at the same time, look at that. That way when you're not using it, it keeps probably the algae and all that stuff down, keeps the leaves out of it, and then kiddos, you know, won't obviously fall in if you're not out here. So the only time that this would be uncovered is when you're like actively using it. I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. They're That's super expensive, cool. but oh, sure. it was one of those things, it's kind of a, a safety thing. It's pretty cool that you can walk on it. Mm -hmm. I kind of like that. And your pool stays covered. So I guess we're, we're gonna cover it up. I'll call the pool guys and tell them, hey, it's warm enough. Time to get out here and get going. Banjo loves himself a nice pool. So, and then they've got keys. So that way, obviously, cause you think, oh, well, oh, kid's just yeah. gonna undo. Now, no. she, hey, she's Lock locked. So pool, pretty much done. Oh yeah, you show them the, the get out bars over here. Same thing, I think this is a take. the slide? Is this here or no? No. I think I should go down it. Yeah? Yeah, there's a little thing for water. Oh wow, that's slick. That's oh. slick, I just about fell. I don't know if I'd be able to stop myself. No, that's it. definitely a little shoe still. Sh should I try it? You're just gonna land on the cover. <laughs> this thing's slick. Here we go, boys. Woo, ooh, it's hot. Ooh, it's hot on my butt. Okay, yeah, okay, ah, ah, ah. Look at that. You got slide. So I'm guessing, hopefully they have a water line because there's a thing for water to come out so that way it doesn't burn you your butt. You think it's already in there? If it's not, we're gonna have a problem. Yeah. So anyway, slides here. Oh, and then fire pit, I almost forgot. So you come down, I don't know what was done last time, but this is here now. So fire pit has these lava rocks. Those are big rocks. Yeah. And then fire does fire things. Yeah. You know what I mean? But the yard looks really cool with the size. So just want to give you guys an update. We're going to head down to the animals and give you guys an update on that. Obviously, we haven't shown them for a little while. Everything's good, at least to my knowledge. But we pulled up. I saw the side guys and figured, hey, we'll give you guys an update because technically this is the last of it. As soon as the side guys are out of here, power wash everything, clean the pool, and we are ready for the summer. We'll see you guys down to the animals. Shoo!
Woo! All right, folks, we are down at the animals, checking on everybody. Are we kind of flew? Where are the animals? We haven't seen the animals in so long. Pork chop. How you doing, pork chop? Get him, pork chop. Pork chop. Why you got barbed wire in your pen? Pork chop. Did you grab it? Pork chop. Hang on, we gotta go save pork chop from death here. Why are you being so vocal? No. You know what she sounds like? That one bird I want to buy that you won't let me buy. Yeah, no, I'm not. Doing Roll the that. clip. Dude, tell me that wouldn't be okay. It'd be a terrible idea. I'm with Jake. A camel scare but I enough, also dude. feel like it would be pretty entertaining. Did that pig not sound like that? All right, we got some barbed wire. Deb, get up, Deb. Yeah. Say hello, Deb. Everyone misses you, Deb. Come on, Deb. Yeah, yeah we got to pick some of this up. There's some barbed wire back here. Last thing we need is the baby goats can suck a barbed wire. Deb, come here, Deb. Big Debbie. Come here, Debbie. Come here, big Debbie. What's big girl dad doing? Pork chop's on beard. Dude, pork chop's not small, dog. Look at that. Pork chop. When you look at them big ass ears too? What are you hearing? Okay, cook. Huh? You think it's right? You got no Quit rooting. Hey, you're not a wild hog. Quit rooting. Dad. You ain't a hog. Deb, what do you think pork chop's listening to over there? You can get, you get satellite on them suckers. <laughs> look at that. Look. <laughs> Tell me them suckers aren't the largest ears you ever. Quit rooting. Deb says I'm taking a nap. Yeah, Deb, come here, big Debbie. Pork chop. <laughs> are you gonna be nice, pork chop? Pork. <laughs> pork chop, man. Whoa, look at the hole there, bro. Look at that. Do you see the hole back there? Yeah. Pork chop, quit rooting. Pork chop. Oh, you're nice and cool, dude. Oh, yeah, this is cool. That's why they're nice rooting cold around. They're getting nice you get hot? Up. Is it time for sprinklers? Too much time, pork chop. Oh, yeah, we got to set the yeah. sprinkler system back Yeah, we up. got sprinklers. We got a little shade. It is really cold in here. Like, compared, like I see why they're rooting, because it is nice and cool, cool in here. But Big Deb, it's almost that dime, Big Deb. Deb, quit breathing so heavy. Oh, she's she's, she's out. I think pork chop's getting used to us now, though, yeah. right? Yeah, pork chop's kind of chill now. Hi, pork chop. Hi, but... Calm down, pork chop. Pork chop's napping too. Oh, hi, pork chop. Oh, Deb, oh, Deb, oh, Deb, I'm gonna get killed. Deb's pissed. Okay, Deb, let me scratch your belly, Deb. Go back to sleep. Deb, you haven't gotten any smaller? Pork chop's gotten bigger. Deb's not gotten any smaller. You wanna get moving or what? You wanna hang out in here? It's nice and cool in here. I see why you're here. Okay, don't do anything I wouldn't do. All right, I, that's for my pet pork chop. Yeah. I feel like that's a win. You know what's gonna happen? Wasps. Yep. That's a bird's nest. Oh, look at them suckers. You see that? Look at that. <laughs> Uh-huh. They don't know what we remember. Remember we did last year? Roll the clip. Let the games begin. Banjo, put it out. Put it out. It's on fire. No, it's on fire. Hey, you ain't mess with us, wasp. All right, I'll burn this sucker down before I'm going to let a wasp ding Deb. Anyways, so Deb's good. Theo's good. Isn't that right, big boy Theo? Let's see what Theo's got to say. Theo, wake up, Theo. Come here, big boy. Theo. Who's a big boy, Theo? Come here, Theo. Oh, it's nice and cool right here, too, Theo. See, they're, <laughs> everything's getting a little warm. You're gonna be all right, Theo. But he, he dug down, so there's the metal grate here, which prevents Theo from escaping. But it is shaded in this corner. Theo. Nice, cool dirt, huh, Theo? Hey, yeah, buddy. You wanna hang out, or you just wanna chill right there? What are you, speaking of that, what are you listening to? Yeah. He definitely gets AM and FM on that side. <laughs> oh, sucker. God, yeah. All right, Theo, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Theo's uh, daughters and broad, okay? They're doing what they normally do. Nothing new. Pork chops mobile. What are them baby goats up to? Let me see them teats. I'm kidding. We're not milking today. Come here, baby goats. What are you guys up to? Them suckers out. They're all hiding or what? They're gone. I'm gonna... Yo, there they are. Oh, no. Hey, no. No, that one's stiff. No. No. The no, baby's he's down. Faint. He's down. He faints. No. They faint. Oh, he's dead. They faint. They faint. They actually faint. No way. Shut up. There's no way they faint. That white would just faint it. There's no way they faint. Jimmy. Where is he? Jim. Jim! Jim! You passed on the fainting gene. Jim! Look at Jim! He came. Jim! Jim! <laughs> they faint Jim! How does he know his name? He know dude, I said Jim, he come flying out of the hay. He know Jim knows who he Jim! They faint, Jim! He passed along the fainting gene. Yeah, he did. Because the mom's never fainted. We ain't never seen him faint. That oh, white one, know. full on stiff. That was crazy. Yeah. Let's go, Jim! You're actually worth something. Congrats, buddy. What them Rick? You still don't bring a lot to the table. I'm just staying honest. I can't believe they fainted. That's crazy. If dude. one of them faints, they all got to faint, right? I would assume. Ain't no way. Okay, easy. Oh, look, they got, their, they got the strap. <laughs> they got a little tunnel going on. Keep going. You follow. All right, let's, we'll make them faint. On this I think the, it's the, it was the sound. Yeah. I think it's Ooh. what it was. Like, if we can get them to come close and I just smack it, you think it'd work? Here they come. Ready? Oh, 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 they're getting the milk. Oh, oh, ow, oh, 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 oh. Whoa. Easy, easy. Go spook them now. Scared me. All right, well, hey, one of them faints. I don't know if the rest they do. They've been pooping up here. <laughs> they got tiny little poops. Look at them. Yeah, they do. All right, the white one, I like you because you faint. That's funny. That's good That's good stuff. All right, well, goats are good. And hey, we learned something new. They faint. Let's go check on the big animals. Morning, chickens. It's afternoon. It's not morning. Oh, the duck's here. Really? Oh, where's the other one at? It's just the hen. Oh, there's a mouse. There's a mouse. Whoa. There's a mouse. Whoa. Get it. Get it. Oh, there might be two. How do you get them? Can you see them? Grab you their tail. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's in the box. Look at him, running around in there. What do you do? What do you grab do? his tail and chuck him. I don't want to touch him. <laughs> grab his tail and chuck him. That's why we need cats. I don't want to no, deal with this. No, we don't need cats. I don't want to I deal hate with cats. this. 
Where'd he go? Maybe reach in there and grab eggs and get something more than you bargained for. If that was a rat, you have no idea how quick I would have laughed. I, mice, hey, not bad. Rat, nah. I ain't do the rat thing. Oh, there oh, he is. He's under he's, the straw. He right probably here. made it out the door, do you think? Whoa. Easy, son. He's gonna be in there somewhere. Go! Oh! You stepped on him. He squeaked. Did you hear him squeak? Yep. He's out. Anyways, why is this duck in here? Is she on a nest? Oh. Where's the hang on? Where's the drink? Where's our friend? He's oh there he is. Look at him. He's, oh, by, yeah, the he's by the trailer. What's he doing out there? They abandoned each other. Why wouldn't he stick around with her? Is what, she on a nest? In what's there? he thinking? She's got to be on. She's got to be on a nest, right? Do they usually uh, like split up if they? I don't know. I've never watched ducks usually reproduce. Usually, moms get kind of territorial. Well, yeah. Is she gonna kick? Wonder if she's gonna kick my ass. Let's just look. I don't want to piss her off too much. Dude, she's definitely on a nest. Dude, look at that look nest at she made. You hear her? It sounds like a pterodactyl. Oh, she's pissed. We got ducklings? Uh, maybe. Well, I don't, don't want to piss her off, dude. I don't want to piss her off. She's going to kick my ass, dude. Do you think she has eggs on her head, though, or no? She's got, I mean, otherwise, why should she be so mad? Chicken egg? Or do you think she laid eggs? Do you imagine she hatches a chicken? How confusing that would be to her? <laughs> like, I'm just thinking about that. What if, what if she hatches chicken? Is that possible? Because, yeah, like, our chickens like to lay random spots. What if she just saw an egg and was like, oh, this is mine? Dude, she, watch this. Oh, there's a, dude, there's a, they're ducking. <laughs> Hey, you're okay, right. Okay, you're okay. Right. She'll come back. Dude, those are duck eggs. Look at them all. Look at them all. Look at them all. Sorry, mommy. Dude, she's pulling feathers out and oh everything. Oh my gosh. There's like, dude, there's like 10. Dude, there's way more than 10. Look in here. Oh my. I didn't know they laid there's that like many. There's like 20 eggs in there. Since, how many? Uh, well, she'll come back. There's a chance that there's some that chicken eggs you think so, mixed? with it. She might have made her nest and the chickens lay on it. Oh, mommy. Come on. Come back. She'll come back. We can just get out of here, though. Get back, mom. Oh, the, the dude came back. He, look, he saw her. Oh, he's with her now. Go sit on your eggs. She'll probably come back. Luckily, nothing gets in the coop that can really mess with them. Like, you know, it's not like big animals near them. I didn't know they had that many eggs. That's a lot. I, for some reason, I'm thinking four. There were, like, I guess, yeah, if you see, like, ducklings and then a mom, there's a good, eight like, eight. Them. Yeah. Dude. All right, we're not going to... Let her do. Let her stretch She'll her legs. Back, yeah. I don't know how long she's been in there. Okay, but we got duck eggs, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm not. Duck eggs. I'm not gonna try to eat them, even though they sound delicious. We're gonna let her sit on them, and hopefully, we have some ducklings. What is that? Where is that? A turkey egg? It's got the speckles. Oh, that's a turkey egg. Everything's nesting. Hang on, Ralph. Don't kill me. Let me get it. Let me get it. That's a turkey. That's egg. a turkey egg. Why is everything Why dropping is eggs? Dropping egg? It's got a little hole in it, so it ain't gonna oh, yeah. be any good. That's a turkey egg. Dude, that looks like a little dino egg, dude. Yeah, no. Ralphie. What is going on? They're Here just, comes the turkey. They're just dropping it on the concrete? You don't want to make a nest all of a sudden? What the heck? Well, exciting stuff, ladies and gentlemen. We may have baby ducks on the farm, Ralphie. How's that make maybe you feel? Maybe baby turkeys, because you got a tom now. And maybe baby turkeys. Hey, how you feeling, Ralph? Feeling, She's coming you feeling frisky? Is she going back? She's coming back over. Get back in there, mama. Dude, I've never actually approached a duck on a nest. Her tail gets all wet. At <laughs> I've never seen that. Ra he what do you like think? That. Do you hear him? Ralphie. Oh, yeah, and here we go. The flies, the boys. The flies are starting. Ra Ralph, it's warm out. We got fly spray to deploy. We've got eggs to hatch, potentially. Maybe even some duck eggs. Yeah, she's all ticked off. But that's good. That way, she get a little fresh air, maybe a little drink. She'll go back in there and hopefully lay on them. So we may or may not have some ducklings on the farm. Let us know what we should do. Should we take them and go incubate them, or should we just let nature run its course? You guys stay tuned. Shoo! Alrighty, well we were headed back to the house to get them minnows and I checked tracking and they said delay. So, we're hoping, fingers crossed, the minnow show up either later today or tomorrow. They were tell telling me it's gonna be a 10 a.m. delivery, which it is much past that. So, we're going to, uh, I guess pick up the camera when the minnows get here. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! Alrighty, folks, the fish are here. Through the mail, speedy delivery, got it delivered. And Lucy, come, Lucy. Come in. Don't get in the water. Don't do anything I would do. Bam! Pond's still here. Hey, it ain't gone nowhere. We've got four boxes. One, two, three, four of perishable fruit. <laughs> Big Junior thought it was fruit. He also, in his defense, he thought we were going to have a stock truck come. And I was like, nah, Minners, we just got to come in here. We can ship them. And so when I when you got here before me and I said, just grab the boxes, load them in the meal, we'll be there. He th thought they were pears or something. Yeah, he goes, I love pears. Can I have a pear? They're grapes, not pears. Really? Do you want to you say you, you going? Look out. That was almost a bad deal. That's a, how perishable are they? They just went through a little little catastrophe here. I'm curious how many of them are still alive. It is super handy though. Like it's nice bringing the stock truck, but for minnows, it's nice to just be able to get them. And so we've got, I can't remember if there was, I have to do the math on how many minnows we got. You wanna look at how many minnows are in a pound, Banjo? You always got Siri dial. There's a lot of water in there. How do you, how do you know? Well, no, no, well, I know, I think I know, I know how many pounds of minnows I got. I gotta figure out how many minnows are in a pound uh, yeah. and then do the calculation. How many are in a pound? That's the real question. 
220 minnows per pound. Times 40, what's that? That's gotta be a lot, I feel like, right? Times 40? 8,800. Roughly, estimated. Okay, I'm gonna call it 10,000. So we got 10,000 minners for the two acre pond. What do they look like, are they alive? I don't know, what the? Oh, really? What's the fuzz? Is this you're doing? It's hamster bedding. Is that, you, <laughs> you, you look like a big hamster, guys. You have you them as a kid? I did have a hamster. Them and those ducks. What's up with you Dude, and the animals? Hamsters die in the most mysterious ways, too. Expo ex wait, elaborate. Hang on, you can't, just, you can't just, you can't you stay just, that and move on. I've never had one that lived for more than like, not very long. They what, just die huh? in the weirdest way. Whoa, look at all yeah, them suckers. A There's a ton of minnows in there. Dude, that's a bag of Holy fish. Holy cow. They're cold. They yeah. Are cold. Are they still chilly? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I, I mean, I only see a couple dead ones. That's better than half the time we transport. Yeah, yeah. Hey, remember, Big, do you remember our minnow transporting services last time? It didn't, didn't end well. well. It's, we did better on this yeah. one. Right. You know why? Because we didn't do it. <laughs> all right, so we've got one bag. We'll get the rest of them unboxed. We're gonna take them down to the pond and we're gonna let them free. The idea is that these suckers are gonna procreate, okay, Big Junior? That's the plan. You, you experiencing that or no? That a lot. No idea what you're talking about. Uh -huh. So they're, we want them to spawn. Here's what's interesting, and you guys let me know what you think. What's interesting is this pond is actively getting filled, right? It's it's pumping filled with water at 24 hours a day at, you know, 50 to 55 degrees, well water. Now, in my experience, fish don't spawn until it hits like 65. So the question is, will this pond get, I'm sorry for the wind. I'm gonna go ahead and say right now, I'm gonna, give me a second. Okay, maybe that's a little bit better. So my question is, if this thing is pumping in 55 degree water, Will the water get above 65 during spawn, which is like May, or is it gonna take until like June to get there? Okay, sorry, I got dust in my eye. Now, the next question I've got for you guys, if it doesn't get up to 65 in May or June, and maybe it gets up to 65 in July and August, will the fish still spawn that late? Or are fish more programmed based on time of year and less on the water temperature? I don't, am I, does that make sense to you guys? Will they spawn at 65 no matter what time of year? Or will they spawn pretty much like May and June no matter if the water's a little chilly or not? That's the question, but starting off with minnows we want to get the forage base established in this lake so all right we're gonna go back in the wind tunnel so just bear with me here ladies and gentlemen so we're gonna get this sucker nice and stocked hopefully they spawn like i don't i got another google for you how often and how many like okay english english is tough we're putting in ten thousand minnows in a month if they spawn how many what how many minnows does one minnow spawn off if a, one minnow could spawn minnows <sighs> You know, what kind of nursery rhyme was <laughs> huh? Lucy, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're gonna we're, we're weekly, we, huh? They're, they're, they're like freaking rabbits 200 to 500 eggs per spawn. Some males, some females, wild males. I was gonna say, some all right, males may lay up to 4,000 eggs per season, huh? Per what season, 4,000. So, 4,000 times 10,000, 4 million, 4 million minners. Holy wow. cow, no, we, we're gonna start a minner farm, all right? Probably not. We, 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 any farm, we worm farm, nah, what middle farm, nah, tried to start a worm farm. Yeah, it didn't work. I couldn't get them to reproduce. They just died. Have you done an ant farm? No. Nah, should we do that? Should we do ant? What are we gonna do with the ants? The worm farm made your shout smell like ass. Well, it didn't smell good. I can say right now, it's it. Yeah, well, you can do it. I could. I can't. But so you can if you want to. Yeah. So supposedly they're supposed to reproduce weekly. So my what I was explaining to them guy when I was trying to get away from the wind tunnel earlier was we're putting in like 50, 55 degree water and it needs to probably get up to 65 for spawning. Yeah. If we're constantly putting in that cold water, what happens if the water doesn't get 65 in like May and June? Oh, I bet it will. You think it's going to get there, maybe not right shallow, here. So you think you think they'll go cool. everybody will just be hanging out on the other side. What what so here's my question. What if it doesn't? But it gets that warm in like July and August. Will they spawn in July and August? Uh, I bet they will. I, I mean, I think minnows don't aren't care. I'm just more about like bass because I've never heard of a bass spawning in like July and August. You know what I mean? That's uncommon, right? Yeah. I don't know. Either way, we're hoping that we put minnows in and they get busy. Okay. Now, the one thing these minnows don't have yet is good stuff to spawn with. So we've got the sand over there. The water ain't on the sand yet. So the question is, can they spawn on clay? Probably. Yes. You think so? Yes. Spawn in creeks. Yeah. yeah, I guess that's true. I feel like minnows are pretty resilient. Like they, 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 they're not picky. They get after where. Hey, remember they do in the back of the tr in the back of the car. Remember yeah. that the old station yeah. wagon. They're kind of I mean, like they rabbits. Spawn at the minnow They'll farm. do it. Yeah, I mean, you th they do sell like where we get Beamer. I've seen a little article. They have minnow spawning mats, so we could eventually put them out like on the shallow areas. You, know? you read articles? I read occasionally. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it's happened before. But do we need spawning mats, or are you just like Flair, just put them in and let them breed like rabbits? Okay. Anyways, you doing the honors? Dump let's it in, let's man, see though. it. You give her the old dumpski. We got ten thousand minners. This is the first stocking of the year, boys. This is the first stocking ever in the bat. Well, actually, the second time technically, and then we killed them because we had a. Dr anyways, go ahead. Yeah, buddy, get it. Start spawning. Look at them suckers. Start spawning. Oh yeah, that's good. Well, you know what I saw this morning? What? I've got, I've got, I've got a feeling. I'm sorry that the wind. Sorry about. Sorry for the wind. 
Can I do that? Is yeah, it? You can Sorry for the wind. I'm gonna have to start doing that because it's windy. I saw, I was eating breakfast, okay, and Brooklyn's like, birds, which she does all the time, but we usually see, you know, like the, the vultures, okay, the crows. I saw three, I've never seen this before, three herons Lucy's circling. Saw. Lucy's pointing. Big Junior. You know what that means? We're screwed. Because they're gonna come in and they're gonna start eating our minners and you can't do nothing about herons. They're federally protected. Well, so put the car in, they can hide in the back. Yeah, well that's that's they the idea. The but I saw three of them this morning. It's like did they have like an intuition like we're about to stock it today? Yeah, three of them were freaking sailing. Lucy, okay. The minnows. Lu hey, fetch up. You get, get them. Get them, Lucy. <laughs> you get them. Fetch them up. Get the minnows. You fetch up. Get, get them with that minnows. She's like, you get them. You get them. Did you see her close her eyes before she went under? Yeah. Get them. Get them. Oh, oh no. she got one. No, she has Lucy, one. Lucy, no. All right, hey, hey, no, no eating. No killing the minnows. That was kind of cool, actually. Okay, anyways, proceed. Go ahead. Dump, dump, dump another round. So, anyways, there's a good chance we're, you guys are going to see a series of us defending the pond. Okay. Put a bird net over this whole thing. I don't know. How, how do you defend against herons? What do you got? Ideas? No ideas. No legal ideas, man. That's what you're saying. No legal. We, we got to. Oh, Lucy, look at her. She, get them. Get him. Oh, she got one. Oh. That was a, oh no, that's no, a dead one. Lucy, no. Hey, Lucy, no. Lucy, no. No, Lucy, no. That one, can't, that one's not going to spawn now. Lucy, no. Lucy, okay, come here. Come here. Get out of Who brought this dog? Come here, Lucy. That's kind of funny. She sees me and goes and gets him. Lucy, stop it. Come here. Lucy, here, here. Get over here. You go sit. Hey, go sit up there. Sit down. Sit. Okay. All right. Is bag number three? Yeah. Bag number three, boys. She is going in hot. So comment down below if you guys have a pond. Is there anything you can do to protect against a heron? Or just, they're not protect, but just deter. Like a scarecrow? Are they scared of? Let's just put Big Junior out here. Ah. We all just rotate shifts. You nice. know what I mean? Coyote nice. decoys up on the dam. Oh, yeah, there's got to be. There's got to be something that, that can deter them. Giant. Is there a big one in there? Oh yeah. Look at them getting it. I love how clear this pond is too. Which is it's crazy. When I thought I'm gonna do clay, I'm like, dude, this thing's gonna be just a mud pit. It's been raining off and on for the last like two weeks <laughs> and it's crystal clear still i mean look at that besides minus yeah. what lucy is doing but are they schooling this is pretty cool dude the herons are going to oh, snipe yeah. these suckers oh, yeah. so That's fast because you can see them from the sky anyways proceed with the last one all right last bag Last bag, boys. Going in hot. All the minnows. Lucy, what did I tell you? Lucy. Lucy. No, Lucy. No. She got that one. Lucy, come here. Quit eating it. Your breast goes. Drop it. Drop it. Huh? Huh? This is Fred. See you later. Rip Fred. Well, Lucy likes it. She's, you, it look at you. Your face is all wet. Is that pretty fun? Hey, you don't do it. So we've got to figure out heron duty. Someone's got to be on heron duty. I don't know what that entails, but, and I don't mind the minnows, right? Minnows aren't that expensive. It's it's okay. I'll get more, right? We put 10,000 in minnows. How many how many minnows could a heron eat? All right, Banshee, you want to Google? Okay, we're done Googling. How many minnows could a heron eat? Real issue is if we start getting good bass to grow, right? We're going to get some bass in here. They're going to have good genetics. They're going to start growing. And then all of a sudden, herons are going to, ah! They don't do that. That's a hawk. Well, whatever. What do herons? <laughs> they do the. Don't they do that when they're like flying away? Yeah, they do. do that. I, yeah, I mean, you, you're like a bird guy. What do they sound like? Like yeah. that. I don't know. Kind of like that, you know, a little bit. Like I always, when they fly away, they do that. I'll give it to you. Yeah. Is that decent? Sure. Is that de I'll call it. What, do, what would you do to protect against herons? Legal. That's yeah. legal, Big Junior. Yeah, Big Junior, stop thinking about that bare fifty cal. Wow. Big, big, imagine Big Junior's on sniper duty. <laughs> Hey, we, we can't have Lucy. Did you grab? Yeah, drop, it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. That yeah. one's gone. Lucy ate that one. Lucy's winning. Okay, legal. Right give me an idea because the comments are going to either they're going to agree or you guys give a better idea. Legal. legal. I don't know. Net over the whole thing? Sure. Okay, well, I'm not doing that. Yeah, like a, like a scarecrow. Sound yeah. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that the, simulates the, you with mag dumping a 50 cap. Yeah. Is that dog? Lucy. No, Lucy, no. <laughs> come here. Drop the mana. Lucy. Like, God dang it, dude. I'm, you're sleeping in the garage tonight. I ain't dealing with this. Luke, yeah, come no, on, we'll get out, get out, go lay down. All right, le think, legal method. It's gotta be a scarecrow. I don't know Let's anything get, else. Like one of those stow goose decoy spinners and put three coyote decoys Ooh. on it. Ooh, what they're do you just think? Patrolling sound machine. Really? Big Junior's voice. Oh yeah. Don't they land there. Re really? Yeah, get off that, my lawn. That'll, that'll do it. Yeah. Scarecrow, sound machine, rotation decoy, motion yeah. decoy. We need your guys' help. Because what I saw this morning, I think these herons can see into the future a little bit, okay? Because I saw three of them. They're wolf packing. I never see, you ever see more than one heron together? I haven't. I saw three of them suckers. Full on wolf packing. Checking out the pond, looking to see if we stocked it yet. Since we stocked it today, now I'm going to have to keep an eye out. We should, yeah, that's, we need like surveillance. We need to deploy some surveillance, I feel like. You know what I mean? Like like Bama Bass has, has all the cameras. We got to do the same thing because we got we to gotta stay on patrol. We might, dude, hey, what did I say about the minnow? They can't taste good, right? Like, what? what Look, no, no, oh, that's a big one. No, no, not the big one, Lucy. No, that was, that, that was, yeah, that was the top. No, quit digging. Oh, she, oh, Lucy, come here, quit that. 
Anyways, we need hair protection. We need Lucy protection. Big Junior, you are my protection. So I don't know. We're good there. Big, okay. Big Junior's security that. service. Okay. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. The pond is officially stocked. Let us know what we should stock next. What I've been told is you're supposed to start with minnows, then you start with bluegills, and you let them spawn as many freaking times as you can, and then you bring in the bass in the fall post-spawn. That way there's ample fish for this. But let me know, was 10,000 minnows enough? Or are you like, Flair, that doesn't even, that doesn't even get you started, pal. You better order three times that next week if you want to see this thing covered in minnows. So let me know in the comment section down below. We'll catch you in peace.